morning guys and welcome back to the channel today i'm out on the triumph 900 gt pro for just another another little ride um, i thought myself this morning come on man um it was uh, raining earlier and it was uh, miserable and i thought to myself hey it's 10 degrees outside so let me get back on the bike and put some miles on it's the perfect perfect time to uh perfect time to get out the roads are wet um, so I've got it in rain mode and I'm just having a cruise, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. Just want to get out, put some more miles on the bike and just get a, a more, a better, better feel for the, for the bike. Learn how the bike perform. And, uh, but yeah, man, I can see, um, on, on all the roundabouts and stuff, there's like nice, thick, uh, uh silvery, uh, juice on the ground. That is oil, and uh, it's never good. Two wheels, oil, roundabout, wet roads, it's never, never great. But guys, in today's video, what I wanted to do is I just wanna um, give you some feedback on the auto blipper up and down. So uh, let's get back on the bike and we go for a little ride and I'll give you some feedback on it. Let's go. I'll give you a quick round the bike. You can see it's been uh, really muddy, but it's been holding out really well. There's the rear heated seat. So yeah, it's fairly clean here. I do get some uh, spatter on my boots, as you can see, boom, from the road. Otherwise, it's uh, it's been really great. I'm running the screen on the lower setting. Someone wants to know, and there you can see as well all the splatter on the front. And then also, yeah, nice and uh, gunky. You know, I do like this uh, candy apple red on the bike. Very nice, Marzocchi. You can see there, boom, where it hits. Beautiful. I have to clean this bike. <laughs> But I am uh, pretty clean um, from the from my back and the rear of my trousers, so that's good compared to my previous bike. Okay, guys, let's get going. So I can give you some feedback on this uh, this auto blipper. As you can see, I hope you can see that's the auto blipper up and down connected into there. It's a uh, very interesting but guys how are you doing are you uh, enjoying your bikes and uh, if you are drop some comments below about you know what you like about your uh, tiger 900 gt pro or the 850 for that matter i'm a big uh, i'm a big fan of that 850 because uh, I think it's just such a, uh, such a solid bike for that price. And as I said in my previous videos, if I had uh, not received a deal on this bike, then I would have uh, definitely bought an 850. Because uh, I don't need all this, uh, whoops, I don't need all the bells and whistles that the 900 gives. Yes, the cruise control and stuff is nice, but hey man, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's worth the money. I think if you do long rides 
and being stuck on the motorway and whatever, then uh, it's definitely a key. But uh, for me, it's uh, it's not a it's not a deal breaker. So I want to uh, chat to you guys about firstly just some uh, just some uh, 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 not news, but sort of. Um, been reading more and more feedback about this uh, the 660 uh, Tiger Sport, and uh, I want to know from you guys: Have any of you uh, gone to test drive the bike? Is any of you guys uh, going to buy the bike, um, or put a deposit down, um, or have received the bike? I would really like to know your feedback. Because for me, that uh, that bike looks like it's going to be a it's going to be a killer, and uh, I would really like to go and test drive it some other time. Go and check out the bike. I just like the look of it. I think um, I think there's there's a lot of people that uh, want an adventure style uh, riding style bike, but they uh, but they don't really need. Uh, uh, it needs to be in more in a in a in a road format, and I think this is uh, this is where this Tiger 660 Sport uh, really comes into its own. So yeah, drop some comments below what you guys think of that uh, 660. I'll be I'm very interested. It's a uh, sort of uh, one of those things, and especially uh, for uh, for um, my type of riding, um, you know, I don't, I don't need a. Uh, it's actually interesting. I've, I've sort of totally, totally changed with this uh, uh, needing to have a humongous bike, humongous uh, 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 thousand, uh, uh, thousand one hundred cc motorbikes to uh, the smaller and lighter bikes. I was even looking at that uh, uh, Honda. Uh, 300 rally it looked like such a nice bike and uh, I wanted to uh, have a test drive on it but yeah the, the feedback on that bike was uh, there was a lot of uh, weak suspension and uh, it was a little bit uh, uh, underpowered um, for sort of that in-between if it was sort of like a 450 cc I think it would have been uh, probably spot on but uh, I think the 300 might be a little bit uh, too light for what I want to use it for because I still want to be able to do the motorway miles but I just want to also be able to uh, also want to be able to uh, 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 have a light bike and that's sort of the key of this whole thing Yeah, as you guys can see, the the light sensor has picked up that it's light enough to change the screen to daylight. Oh man! And I've got the heater grips on low. I've done about 80 miles um, on this tank. 145 miles remaining, and I'm in rain mode. So uh, let's discuss this uh, this auto blipper and uh, just some feedback that I've got on this and uh, I am super impressed um, for uh, 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 if I compare this to the uh, my street triple that I had um, I almost think that there was maybe uh, some tuning that needed to be done on my street triple because um, the auto blipper would work and uh, and then it would sort of just uh, not, especially um, when you uh, revving, um, when the bike is in high revs. So, look at this. This is like an, it's just like super smooth. It's like almost like an automatic gearbox. The bike has got no problem, no problem changing changing gears. It's a, uh, it's uh, this. This is amazing. This is like an. I have a. Um, I had. I had. The bike has got about well six uh, six hundred miles on now, 
it had its first service but uh, when I got the bike I think it was like 200 miles or 300 miles on the clock and uh, I've never had a skip uh, gear change um, if I compare that to my street triple I would get uh, 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 missed uh, gear changes all the time basically if you if you say at uh, five or six thousand rpm and you lift the gear lever up with your foot it just doesn't want to change it's quite a bizarre setup um, but this is now on the street triple and I always thought that there was something not 100% uh, right it almost feels like it needed to be uh, it needed to be tuned but on this bike I've had absolutely no miss changes so far so all they uh, all they must have made some uh, some further improvements but I would have, I would have expected the street triple to be uh, to be more spot on uh, compared to this bike this is more adventure bike you don't uh, really need a, a quick shifter the quick shifter is very nice but if you compare it to uh, the street triple where you really need it it uh, yeah, it would uh, not shift up and I also tried to figure out if there, if there is a specific RPM but it wasn't it was just uh, it was just just uh, it was just like a not shift bizarre and then other times it would shift shift perfect uh, just for me bizarre I, I just I just I just couldn't work out exactly where the where the problem was now as I said it might be something that needed to be uh, tuned uh, or or um, maybe I'm using it wrong I don't know but uh, this bike has not had any issues it just uh, very sharp little short little up and down shifts that's for me uh, amazing absolutely amazing now if they can get it right that it feels like a like a almost like automatic uh, uh, automatic transmission it's just brilliant absolutely brilliant I don't think I should be driving at 48 miles an hour. There we go, slow down a bit. Annoy this guy behind me. So, uh, yeah, man. That's my feedback on this uh, auto uh, blipper or, the, or the, the quick shifter up and down. Um, how are you guys finding yours? Is yours behaving exactly the same? Or um, are you having some mis misfirings? Um, on your uh, on your 900 be interesting drop some comments below I would really like to uh, find out how you guys are experiencing and also if there's any uh, 850 riders please drop some comments below as well if you fitted a uh, quick shifter and uh, if you've had any issues because it, you know I'm just sort of thinking maybe that if it's an aftermarket add-on even if it's an official add-on it it might need some tuning where if you uh, where if you where if it's uh, if it comes with a bike it's sort of uh, pre-tested and checked be quite interesting to find that out so yeah drop some comments below if you've got a uh, quick shifter on your 900 or 850 850 tiger and then uh, give me some feedback on uh, how how you are how you are experiencing it and if you have had any issues but listen to that Woo! it just shifts so quickly this is absolutely brilliant man I love it it's brilliant and this is what I was hoping of my of my uh, of my three triple to be exactly the same to have that, uh, that sharp shifting brilliant man I love it okay guys uh, that's pretty much it you know, if you've got any comments or feedback about your bike drop it below please would love to hear um, how you're getting on with your uh, 900 um, and if you've got uh, any questions about this bike uh, please drop them in the comments below
Also, if you've got comments about my uh, street triple, or if you want to find out some, some information, drop it below. Also, check out my other videos about uh, this bike and also the 850 that I test, that I test drove, and so forth. If there's any questions on that, I'll try and get back to you guys. Woo! The wind is mad today. But guys, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this little short feedback session, and I'll see you on the next ride. Cheers.